Hey guys, welcome back. I am the Challenge Warrior, and today I'm doing the first ever mod review that's going up on my channel. So this is actually a retake, but last time there was some issues. I don't know if they're going to repeat again, but if so, I just started college, so I don't have the time to redo it again. But this mod is called Relics of Hyrule. It's by Jay Calland. I hope I pronounced his name correct. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. But what this mod does is it establishes new lore for the Elder Scrolls universe, where the Legend of Zelda universe existed during the Morathic era. Which, for those of us who don't know the whole history of a fictional world, the Morathic era is before recorded history in the Elder Scrolls timeline. So basically there's a whole bunch of crap that happened and nobody knows exactly when, they just know that it happened. So making it so that it was before the first era works perfectly for having Hyrule suddenly exist in the Elder Scrolls. So with this mod you're able to find artifacts from various Legend of Zelda games like the shield that I'm using right now is actually the mirror shield from I believe it's the Wind Waker. Then I'm wearing the Fierce Deity Mask, which, yeah, I know, if it was doing what it's supposed to, it would give me the full Fierce Deity outfit. But he has an explanation for that in-game, and that is, Mages from Termina separated the mask, armor, and sword, so that they could all be used separately during a big-ass war that caused the destruction of Termina, Low Rule, High Rule, and the Twilight Realm. And then Daedra laid claim to what was left, tried to take whatever they could, basically wanted to get whatever power they could find within what was left of Hyrule. Along with the Fierce Deity Mask, I'm wearing the Helmet of a Zora Soldier. And then my chest piece, I know it looks like it's Blade's armor, but if you look closely at the back you can see the Hylian Royal Quest. It's the armor of a Hylian Soldier, same with my boots. I'm wearing the golden gauntlets, and then we have the megaton hammer, which I'm using because the golden gauntlets make your attack speed faster, similar to the uh, elemental fury show. So using the golden gauntlets with the megaton hammer makes me hit at the speed of like an axe, as opposed to the speed of like nothing. It hits really slow if you don't use the gauntlets. Just If you're going to use the Megaton Hammer while you're playing this mod, use the damn gauntlets. But, we are going to do the first temple, and inside that temple is supposed to be the Ocarina of Time, which is basically the key for the whole mod. So let's go to Kino Lang Denzel. If you want to take the boat to get there instead of swimming, you just go to the Orphan's Tier Shipwreck near Castle Volcahar, and you'll find a rowboat with a little sparkly ball. Those are fairies. See? That... that's a fairy. And... so is that. Right above my character's head. And I'm sorry if there's any visual issues that could be fixed if I was to edit it. My editing software actually doesn't work. But let's get into it. So, the way this works is the Dwemer found some artifact from Hyrule basically shit their pants because it was retardedly powerful in their opinion and tried to seal it not realizing what it actually was so two of the ruins you can find major artifacts from the Legend of Zelda franchise in are Dwarven and there's one that's a Nord tomb I'm not going to spoil anything because I'm going to do a mission not a mission, a fucking video for each of the dungeons.
and hopefully at some point between each video I'll manage to get the Master Sword which if I was to use it right now honestly compared to the Megaton Hammer it's a piece of shit but you can repair it because according to the established lore of the mod it's been 6,000 years since Hyrule got destroyed the Master Sword's currently in potato form not quite back to the point of needing to be reforged and all of those sacred fires and shit like you do in Skyward Sword but it is in potato form at the moment I haven't even gone to get it yet because I'm gonna leave it as is until I get to the point where I'm actually able to restore it because I'd honestly just prefer to avoid the enticement of using the blade of evil's bane when it's more like the blade of everything else's bane Spiders. Okay, here. Oh, it's that part. Oh yeah. By the way, gold sculptures. Anyone remember those from Ocarina of Time? If you do, I. Oh, that's actually really cool. Anyway, if you do remember the gold sculpture, you're probably just like, oh my god, shoot me now. There we go. Bethesda logic. Cut webs with a hammer. Nailed it. Um, so the stall child is probably like a dead Kokiri or something. No, oh, I killed the thingy. I feel bad. Oh, hey, what's that? Oh, sweet. So, pieces of heart, along with a Magicka and Stamina variant. I believe the Magicka variant is called Peace of Mind, and the Stamina variant, I can't remember. But each of them fulfills a different purpose. Ah, oh, crap. There we go. That is somewhat explained by their names. So the Peace of Mind provides 100 bonus to stamina, and if you collect 4 you can go to special new crafting stations added by the mod to upgrade and make it into a uh, full magic of star. Which, in a Legend of Zelda game, would basically be another point of magic. Oh, fucking hell. Uh, okay. I love that he added redeads, but seriously, I've had people come knocking on my door. I'm living in a dorm, and like, they've been asking me if I'm murdering people when that happens. Which, I can understand. It, it literally sounds like someone screaming because of fucking death. So, let's go over the enchantments that my weapons have. My shield, if my opponent not launches a spell at me, or if I've been on time to block that poison ball, then it gets bounced right back at me. So basically it's exactly where the mirror shield works in Ocarina of Time against Konyova. Except for it works against everyone, which is freaking amazing. I'm eventually going to do a build video if enough people say that the... Calm down, Redeads. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm eventually going to do a build video 
for this mod. If enough people show interest in it. Holy fuck! How many re-deads are there? Um, wrong button. I'm almost dead. Do I have any potions? I have one fucking... Always hit that button by accident, because it's right next to the button I need. Okay, get the fuck up. Are there any more of y'all fuckers? Why are there so many re-deads? One of you give me a mask. Wrong button. Why do I keep opening the fucking... There we go. Okay. Nah. Oh, none of them have the mask. Okay. If you manage to get the mask from a redead as a drop, it actually gives you the ability to immediately get up when they use that scream instead of having to wait a little bit, which is pretty fucking useful, especially when you get stun locked. Don't know what those are for yet, though. I should probably quick save. There we go. Um, not that way. So, the enchantments on my equipment. My helmet, not the mask, but the helmet, because they're two separate items. The helmet lets me breathe underwater. And the mask, if I had gone to the, the temple where you get the Fierce Deity Sword, the Fierce Deity Sword would be doing extra damage, but I use one-handed. And Fierce Deity Sword isn't exactly a one-handed weapon so it wouldn't be as good for me to be using it. Um, there we are. So, along with, like, I don't know, over a hundred different weapons and armors, and I blocked too late. I'd say that it's over a hundred anyhow. It's a lot. There's also spells added and scrolls. The scrolls, however, unlike a scroll in the base game where it's like two hands and you're using some kind of spell, they are Deku Nuts and Bombs. See, there's an example. That shows up in the scroll category. And like this one, 100 points. This one, grenade that explodes upon an impact for 60 points. That's pretty good. That is fucking cool looking. I have not seen one of those yet. Holy shit. It does less than half the amount of damage that my hammer does at the moment. But that's still a pretty fucking cool axe. So, as far as I'm aware, pretty much everything I had by this mod is a custom texture of some sort, or a retexture and hand building of something. Redead. If anyone's using headphones, I'm sorry. If I was to adjust the volume level in the game, it really wouldn't change the volume level for people watching the video. So like, I'm sorry that you just became hard of hearing because of that. I've been collecting the Gold Sculptula tokens, but I don't actually know where to cash them in. Um, oh hey look, a dwarf! No, that's a dark knot.
Ey. Okay, you... Yeah, take damage. Um... Yep. I am definitely prepared. Nice. I like the retexture for the Dwarven Armor. But, uh, there's a pop-up on my screen that I can't close unless I have to close the game. So, you guys don't see it, but I do. And I can't see pretty much the bottom right-hand corner of my screen. So, like, my stamina bar, my carry weight, and my money level at the moment, I don't know. Got anything good in here? Nope. Oh well. That's sad. Also, I love the way that they made the Megaton Hammer. I was actually really hoping that there was going to be one-handed four hammers in Skyrim when it first came out. I was kind of disappointed because at that point I've been reading Aragon and the various books. that came out as its sequels. Yes! I needed that mask. And in the book series that I've been reading when Skyrim first came out, one of the big things when do I have a phone record? was that the person who he's the main character was basically raised alongside as a brother, who's actually his cousin fought using a warhammer and he would just tear shit up with that thing so I was always like oh cool I want to make a character build based off of that never could until now so now I'm probably going to make a couple build videos because I'm actually really interested to make them and one of them will most likely be called strong hammer and another one will be called the Hylian hero before I make the Hylian Hero, I'm going to have to get to the point where I actually have the Master Sword. Because that's going to be part of that build, because it's literally going to be make your character Link. Did that say Broadsword? Yeah, see, I'm wearing the uh, re-dead mask now, so I don't have to worry about them as much. Here, use a spell on me, I dare you. Do it. Do it. You suck. That's a staff of flames? Cool, I'm taking that. That qualifies as a unique, as a unique item. Bah. kinda early and I haven't had coffee yet, so sorry if I keep screwing up on words. Hey, what are you gonna do? Oh, you're gonna make my job easy? Why is it not bouncing towards you? What went on there? Oh, I need that. Interesting, so highly in Staff of Flames is like that. I really love the aesthetic of this portion of this dungeon. Thanks for dying, bruh. Um, let's quick save here. This looks kind of, uh, dangerous. Mainly I know that because I've been here before. Everyone plug your ears! Ow. Thanks. 
thank you, Megaton Hammer. Because the Megaton Hammer can't function the way it did in Twilight Princess, instead it can stunlock people. As shown by the fact that I just stunlocked this guy. I would, but no. So, Armos is something that he added in. So, no, don't try and find out what Legend of Zelda game it's from. It's not from Legend of Zelda. It's something that the mod author wanted to add in that they've been wanting to do. It is kind of like Stalrim, but instead of it being ice, it is rock. Which actually makes a whole lot of sense. Okay. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, that thing is big. Oh, it's Queen Goma. Um, hey, remember me? Fuck you. Yeah, my hammer does like 60 points of damage per hit. So, it's not exactly fair for me to be using it. Q. Screw off. Scotula Hatchling Pod. What the hell is that for? Like, I know what an albino spider pod is for. Did he make his own version of albino spiders? Let's take that and find out later. And also, let's wait an hour in game to heal. Anyhow, so this mod, I'm playing it on Skyrim Special Edition because it was only recently ported over from the normal game. Mainly because of the fact that buying the normal game is actually impossible now unless you're buying a bootleg. Or you're playing on console, in which case you're just watching this because you're waiting to get a PC. Because honestly, a mod like this, I heavily doubt a console would be able to handle it. So, let's see what do we got next. I swear, one of these days a redead is gonna blow my fucking speakers. Did I put on the piece of heart? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, hey, he's got the two handed variant of my hammer. And he fucking stunlocked me. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Let me get the fuck up. That is so cheap. Cool. But that's so cheap. If you get knocked down, you can't see your health bar. That's not cool. If someone knows if there's a mod for that, please. Tell me the name of it in the comments. I will be downloading that immediately. Because I'd love to be able to see my uh, health bar as I get stunlocked. That way I don't die. What is this shit? Why am I breakdancing? 
Okay, let's quick save the second time and go through the fucking door. All right, now let's see. Do I have any long-range shit? Ooh, good idea. But My character is only like level 5. So, yes, literally everything I'm using I've gotten through this mod in some way. Oh, hey, he's afraid of this room. There we go. Ranged did it. Now, where is he? Did I just kick his warhammer? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Oh, there it is. All the uniques from this mod are really good. Um, little game breaking if you're low level, but who cares? The game balances itself out pretty quickly. So what's behind door number three? Oh shit, that's right, I need the key. I love the aesthetic of this dungeon. Like, it's dark, but not that dark. Cool, Lolly and Mace. Oh, that looks so fucking cool. Like, I honestly don't want to read those just because they look so badass. Damn. But all I'd see is that on my bookshelf. Fuck it. All right. I'm keeping those as collectibles, because I don't know if I can get more of them. But that was really fucking cool. Um, if the next one is a Dark Knot... Oh, hey, cool. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the Megaton Hammer. Damage of 56 points versus everything else I have. Yeah. Um, so you get this from the Hulk, Falk Reef Grotto. And I'm only going to be doing videos for the major dungeons. But there's one grotto per hold. And some of the other items are not actually found in grottos, but rather are found in pre-existing dungeons. Such as, well, the Fierce Deity Mask, which actually I should switch back to. Fierce Deity Mask. These can basically be found on any Hylian ghost that you kill. That I used console commands to get because I wanted to see what it looked like. That I got from a grotto. That you guys saw me get. That I got from the place where you kill... Uh, Frig. It's the one where you get the quest siege on the dragon cult. I know that much. And this I got from the same grotto where I got... That. And the reason why I just equipped my hookshot is... Oh, it's not working. It's supposed to stun lock people. Piece of heart, yes please. Dark Knot Battle Sword. Nah, I'm good. 
looks fucking cool, but like, pretty sure it weighs more than it's worth. Those things are annoying as fuck. Oh. oh, hey, a Hylian soldier. Lolly and broadsword, cool. I'll take that. Another Hylian. There you go. Goodbye, Poe. Let's see. Got anything good? Nope. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's sort of good. So, as I mentioned near the beginning of this video, this mod has items from Termina, Low Rule, High Rule, um, and the Twilight Realm. So basically the way that worked is there was this battle called, it was either the Battle of 100 Heroes or the Battle of 1000 Heroes, I honestly don't remember, but like every different version of, whoa, that looks cool. Anyway, every different version of Link was present in this battle simultaneously or like there'd be one then there'd be 50 then there'd be 10 then there'd be 200 something like that and they all tried to fight Alduin and got their asses handed to them so basically what happens is because of that there's like a time wound generated and every variant of Hyrule is present in this variant of Hyrule, which is where Skyrim is now. Yeah, I'm wearing the right mask. Okay, cool. Actually, let's see. What does the Fierce Deity mask do? Uh, water breathing. Oh, Zora's helmet. Warrior stone, magic. Oh, gold. Blessing of Talos. Yeah, I had caught a disease earlier. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, there we go. Boost armor rating by 20. That's better than that. Now let's go charge at this fucker. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Satan, that you? It's hammer time, brah. Nailed it. Glass arrow, elven arrow, no, 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 I'm good, crap. There we go. Okay. So, welcome to the end of the fucking dungeon. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. You have officially watched actually close to one of the longest videos I've ever done. So, good for you. Thanks for your support. All that good shit. Let's go get ourselves an ocarina. There it is. And what's this? Arcane Horizon. The first sunrise of pristine Gaia Opus Perfectum. Somewhere there, us sleeping. You had the world, it's all for you. I wish you'd find the lost in you. Grateful for the pain, it proves we're alive. Can you feel it? Fear is the choice you embrace. The music of this awe, deep silence between the notes, deafens me with windless, endless love. The very core of life. Blah, 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 blah. This is a really long ass poem. Why did I exit and not take?
what else have we got here? Red ring, note, some song, and an ocarina songbook that looks really fucking cool. So, songbook page, learn Zelda's lullaby. So, we have now learned the first song from Ocarina of Time, which makes sense. By the way, the Song of Time is in the same dungeon where you get the uh, Golden Gauntlets. Uh, I'll save those for now, I don't really use magic. <sighs> Now, let's show you guys something really fucking cool. First off, there we go. I can't tell if that's a direct port from Ocarina of Time or not. But I don't care, it sounds fucking awesome, and it reminds me of my childhood. Uh, dude, dude. Ooh! I like you. Don't know what you do, though. Oh yeah, by the way, fairies do more than just heal you in this game. Sad, right? Nah, it's actually pretty useful. I'm pretty sure that blue is for magicka, so if you're a mage-type character, blue ones are good. Uh, Warrior-type characters pr would probably prefer, like, red. Because those heal you. Anyway, let's go into a link between worlds. Bye, Ezra, bye, Ezra, bye, Ezra, bye, Ezra. If you don't get that reference, don't worry. I barely get it myself. So, um, sup, Apocrypha? Why you here? And then we have, uh, Freight, what's, uh, what's the name of Azura's realm? Moonshadow. We're walking on Moonshadow. Then we have some dwarf shit. Which makes sense, because we just came out of some dwarf shit. And it, again, really well done, very nicely crafted dungeon. Love this guy's work. What did we just open? Okay, we opened a bridge to that. This is really fucking hard to see. Don't have the key. Okay, I guess that's from... Oh, yeah, that's the Majora's Mask dungeon. That'll be the next episode. But, for right now, where we want to go... That is some trippy shit. Anyway, we're going right here. Freezing caves. Leads to Kakariko Village. So, let's go run around here for a little bit, because if I remember correctly, there's also a very important artifact down here. Don't want to go there right now. Uh, is it in here? Yeah, I think it's down here. Okay. Let the go this way. Oh. You has a problem? You have no body, you need to get that checked out. 
What's that? Ooh. Nope, nothing. Okay. Down here. That one. Hello? Who did the screaming? Alright, what do we got? Here was Boots, here was Gauntlet, Kokiri Circlet, and the Ashland Heroes Clothes. Take all of it. Personally, I feel that the Ashland variants of the... Good job, Hyde. No. As I was saying, personally, I feel that the Ashland variants of the tunics actually look more like the tunics in the game do. While the other ones are like a reskin of guard armor. Hey, what's up, Mask of Truth? I don't want to know the truth, it hurts. Don't hurt me. Yeah, no. Okay, let's go this way. Oh, hey, um, so. I'm, I'm dead now. No, okay. We're gonna have to cut this video off soon. So let's get out of Kakariko. Where the fuck's the door? Am I really lost in a circle? Am I that good? Nope, there's the exit. Alright. Let's. Shadow. By Azura, by Azura. Alright. It's really hard to see in this area. Like, even if you turn down your brightness, everything's really fucking bright. Oh, level up. Do one handed power attack. Standing power attacks. Yeah, I'll take that first. Just because it's bothering me. Alright, back to where we came from. So one thing I remember seeing mentioned on the page for this mod was that there's some people who are actually really interested in seeing a Hylian race mod. So if anyone who happens to see this video knows how to do that, please, do it. Like, you could probably charge for that shit and people would be down for it. Cause like, it's... This mod itself is pretty popular, but from what I've seen... So, making it so that you can play as a Hylian would probably be pretty popular as well. And I can almost guarantee you that the mod author for this mod would probably approach you about adding it to their mod. 
Which would be really fucking cool. So, I don't want to get this video over the 50 minute mark. Mm. So let's go and get the final treasure that's left over from this dungeon. Which is up here. Okay, there's a hidden chest somewhere in the dungeon. I forget where it is. But it unlocks this. The key inside of it unlocks this, I mean. And inside that is the bow from Wind Waker. I wanted to show you guys, but basically it's like Zephyr, but without the downfall of it not shooting as far. A lot of the stuff in this mod you could call overpowered, but it's really not. It's just made to better match the way it worked in The Legend of Zelda. That's the whole point. It's to bring Hyrule to Skyrim. So, I think I'm going to cut it off there. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go on the Nexus. Check out this guy's mod. His name is J. Calland. Again, don't know if I'm butchering that. And the mod is called Relics of Hyrule. When you go into the search function on the Nexus, go into either Original Skyrim if you still happen to have that, or Skyrim Special Edition, go onto the search options and just put in Hyrule. It'll be the first one that pops up. Also probably the only one that pops up. But yeah, do that, endorse this guy's mod, anything you notice that's a bug, point out to him. He's usually pretty good about checking them out. If he's already addressed the issue and you didn't get the update somehow, he will just tell you you should go check to see if you have it updated properly or not. Usually when people tell him that there's a bug, he almost always fixes it. Or no, he does always fix it. He's been really good about it and he posted the mod less than a week ago from when I was making this video. And since then, from what I've seen, he's basically been working non-stop on fixing any issues found with it being ported over from original Skyrim into the new version. And he's even working on an extension for it, including stuff from Breath of the Wild. So, like I said, check him out on the Nexus, endorse his mod, let him know what you think. Personally, I love this shit. Legend of Zelda was my bread and butter when I was growing up, so for me this is like a throwback to my when I was really short. It's amazing. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know how you think I did on the video, and if you think I should do more mod reviews. Slash playthroughs, because this is kind of both. Thanks for watching. Um,